Hello everyone, you're watching PokerNews.com and welcome back to our coverage of the EPT Season 13 stop in Prague. I am with Martin Krupel, who if you don't recognize the face, you might recognize him from being a high stakes online player for years and years from the Czech Republic, representing the King's Casino. Shout out to Leon, who won the Super High Roller earlier. Now, you came deep in this event today, you busted 18th. But I would say that so far you were 100% the star of the show. Now. Lots of people have called you the Czech William Kasuf, so how would you respond to that? Uh, I don't know William so well, so I don't know, and I don't think so, it's true, so that's my comment. <laughs> well, towards the end of the night, uh, it was definitely going down with the tournament staff. They, everyone was starting to say, oh, we're going to call the clock on you every time, so let's just get your perspective. Do you feel like you're taking a reasonable amount of time? Did you feel bullied? Did you feel, um, or is this just a way to sort of yeah. needle your homies? No, I, I think uh, first of all it was a really, really long day yesterday, the day four. Uh, everybody was tired, I was uh, really tired, the guys were tired, uh, the tournament staff were tired, everybody was tired. And uh, yeah, I, I had I think like five or six spots through the whole day where, where I was tanking because I had big decision. It's, it's, <laughs> I, I have no problem with that and I will do it for sure. And uh, yeah, some, some guy on the last table was a little bit nerv nervous about um, I'm taking so long but then I go all in in that hand. So I have no problem with that and I think everything is fine. Well, it's fun to watch you play, of course. Uh, even I came, I, in fact, I think you busted him. I came to interview Philip Grusom like two or three days ago. And you, at the table, you have everybody sort of laughing and joking. And we, of course, as the media, always enjoy that. Um, do you do this just because it's your natural personality or is this also a part of your strategy in your game? No, first of all, it, it should be fun at the poker table, yeah, it's, 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 it becomes too serious, so I, I want to have a fun. Yeah, and uh, yeah, time of the time, if I feel it, I try to get some information and uh, yeah, I think um, I can get a little bit more than my opponents can get for, from me, but maybe I'm wrong. But you know, everybody can play, whoever has buy and can play and play whatever he wants, yeah. Amen. Preach on. Well, unfortunately, because you were still in the main, you missed the opportunity to buy, buy into yeah. the high roller. So you told me you're going home, but where can we look for you next? Are you coming to the PCC or the whatever we're calling it now? Um, will we see you anywhere else or do we have to wait? I'll be at the Kings in the end of January. So will I just see you in Razvadov? Uh, you definitely see me in Rosvadov. There will be a couple of nice uh, tournament series, so I will be there for sure. And yeah, actually, that was my biggest mistake in main event that I I should bust it yesterday to to get uh, to get into this nice 10k. But I do I do it like in the worst shape, yeah, just to to try to double up uh, at, the, at the at the beginning and not to register for 10k. So yeah, I will go to enjoy enjoy home rest a little bit. And uh, I'm not sure if I go to PCA or OC or something like. That. I'm not sure, probably not, but we will see. Yeah? But you definitely see me at King's Rosvado for sure. There's plenty going on in the Czech Republic in the next few months, and I imagine all of 2016, uh, 2017 rather, sorry. Uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you, of course. Martin Krabel, I'm Sarah Herring. You guys are with us on pokernews.com.